God. Hey, looky here. It's the Pat and JT podcast. Pat and JT uh, podcast. It's our, uh, oh, the open. Oh, see, yeah. Our little, hold on, let me see. Little music. That's our let little open. You just missed it, man. Yeah, you totally missed oh, it. Oh, man. You want, you want to play it again for you? Yeah, play yeah. it, play it. Okay. Bring, okay, bring it back. Okay, here we go. Bring it back, DJ Pat. Here we go. Hey, looky here. It's the Pat and JT podcast. Pat and JT podcast. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else can Ooh, hear that. Whose though. kid? Whose kid? Whose kid is that? Scott Papik. Scott Papik. Mm-hmm. He okay. used to be on a radio show with Pat in the nineties. See, this is when on you know. Edge. This is when you know your podcast is legit. Yes. When you have your own theme theme song. Right. right. I don't have a theme song for mine. We need you to find should. one. <laughs> you're Houston, the assassin you Alexander. Should. Well, you should already have. I, you should I, all, I, when I you did. walk in a room, are it's you? Just, you're you're doing a playing. podcast. Yes, I, I, I'm into uh, but the fifteenth or sixteenth episode. Okay, weekly. But yeah, we, weekly. I do it every. Well, it comes out every Friday. Right. Okay. Every Friday. Okay. Good. So, but uh, you don't I have am, an open yet. What? You don't I, have an nah, open. Nah, I, I let I let the music. I do instrumentals. Ugh. I kind of let the, the is. I got it, but I got a header though. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got a header. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. We're so but happy that you're I, here. I, I am. I'm glad to be. Uh, yeah. Be here. Yeah. I know. With Pat and JT. Thank I'm, you. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been I mean, a long, it's, <laughs> it's been almost a year since we've been. Almost a year since we've been gone. Almost. Yeah. Is yeah. it almost even a year? Yeah. Um, yeah. Twelve thirty one. Twelve thirty one would be our last um, time in the building. JT, yeah. you're you here mm-hmm. on the podcast, so I can officially since mm-hmm. we're. Doing the live feed on mm-hmm. my my Facebook, yeah, and we're doing your guys' podcast, yes, for me to actually say to you, yes, that I hate Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a little uh, heartfelt no, no, moment. No. <laughs> I, I was, I'm like, it's oh. not heartfelt. Aww. It's not. It's not anything Aww. I want. You know, you've Pat, been holding you know, this I, in. I, yeah, I've been holding it in for a long time. You know, Pat. I've been I've been calling Pat. Oh. I've been texting Pat. Yeah, I think I emailed Pat. Yeah, and I got no, no response. And I gotta just—it's it's hundred percent on me, and it's, and it's and so, yeah, me and it's yeah, my yeah. fault. So, so, you know, yeah, so I'm, I'm real, just real. You real know what's off. really funny? What's really funny is yeah. that it drives him absolute bonkers. Uh-huh. He sends a note to somebody and they don't reply. Oh, right? oh, yeah. okay, okay, <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. so when no one sends you yeah, I know. the information back, it's a me no problem. One gets it to, it's a me oh, problem. Man, see that? It even drives yeah. me because you have an Android, right? Yeah, I've been so Android, I've, yeah, I even drives me nuts when I text an Android because I can't see the bubbles like on an iPhone coming back. <laughs> so he doesn't like, know if you've even seen it. Yes, oh, that even drives me crazy. He has oh. the read receipts Sometimes. on his emails. He's like every he wants to make sure they got it and that they saw it. Yeah. And then he sits there and going, "Well, they just posted. So right. why haven't they responded to see, my email?" I'm the same. I'm, and, <laughs> well, yeah, you know if if people could see the look on my face right now, mm-hmm. it's disappointed. The, no, it's the I don't Are you apathetic. Face. Just yeah, uh, the I, yeah. I don't. Get doesn't face. care. I know. No, I, so no. I, and I and I, I, no, I apologize. Pat, I, don't. I do. I am I very you, sorry. You've, you've, this is this is the second time I know. you've I apologized. Gotta, I gotta say too that the reason why this came up is that a few days ago a friend of ours was doing his podcast and uh-huh. you were a guest on his podcast and yeah. um, and Pat had was talking to him in ahead of time. Yeah. And said, uh, so who you got? He said, I got a guest coming in today. Good deal. Who's your guest coming and, 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 and what's said, the, hold on. I'm sorry. What, what, the name of your. Robbie. The, uh, Robbie Lula. No, the name yeah. of your studio. He is the name Parkville. Of, what's the name Parkville. Of your, Parkville. Where, where, did, where did Parkville come from? Why, why, why oh, are we'll you get, calling it? Hold on. We'll okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because let me finish the story okay, first. finish the story. <laughs> but he, he's talking to Robbie and Robbie says, well, Robbie Houston M. Alexander's coming in and Pat's, he, his. He just like almost dropped. I haven't. I, oh God. I know. You I'm in so dropped. much trouble. I did. Yes, I did. I'm like, uh, <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, I can't just go fire off a text now. It's yeah, too uh, yeah, like, hey, yeah. hey, buddy. What's up? Uh, that was good. So uh, Robbie, yeah, yeah, so Robbie. So that was pretty funny. I thought that was funny. Yeah, that, anyway, uh, my, my bad. Right? Okay, so welcome. Yeah, this is our company. It's yeah. Parkville Media, and I have a lot of people doing podcasts. A lot of people doing other audio content for their mm. businesses and stuff. And the Parkville came from uh, years ago when we would talk on the radio. We were always really conscious of the fact that uh, we had a lot of moms with kids in cars. Okay. And so before 8 in the morning, in particular, we would use code for a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. So that you could talk about adult subjects, but not for, for small oh, ears. Oh, wink, okay? wink. Yeah. The, 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 the old of, wink, wink. So the we wink, had the, old, the term was, you want to go to the park. Go to the park. And going to the park, of course... Meant. Mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> instead of saying the word sex, yeah. you talk about going to the park. Because yeah. at the park, I mean, my God, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, you can ride 
the Ferris wheel. You can go down. You can get a day down. pass. You can eat on the midway all day long. You can, if you want. Okay. right? You can. I mean, there's so so, so, so all so the secrets what. of radio. Yeah, are mm-hmm. all on your podcast. That's right, pretty much. Honestly, things are starting to. Yeah, the ones that we know anyway. The few secrets we know. Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, I'm just honored to be on the podcast. We wanted you to come in because we've never had a chance to really talk to you long form and we've known we've known you for years but because of the restrictions of radio you have a limited set of minutes and then you have to go to break exactly right and so if you're promoting something you you come in get to it you, you, there's no jacking around. You had so, to get to it. Hold on. Do you guys cuss on your podcast? We sure. can. We have uh, lots of people do. We should. No, 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 we, no, no, we, we beep it out on ours. But go ahead and cuss. I'll just beep it out. No, no, no. Verse, I don't, don't want to. No. No. No, 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 no. Well, a certain on certain podcasts, you know, you know, you want to conduct yourself a certain way, and I think I think mm-hmm. because you've guys been so distinguished in the community for a long time, <laughs> I think I think I think people respect that fact. Well, that's maybe that's just like part of our part of our shtick. I guess. Right? I wouldn't, yeah. but but just, you don't do just, a lot of cussing and fussing. We don't, no. I, I, I do when I'm not in front of a microphone. Right. <laughs> like I, I, yeah, I said an F bomb in front of my kids the other day. Okay, actually, okay, that's okay. the first time that's ever happened hey, ever. Well, well, hey, hey, you know what? I uh, told someone, I told a parent one of these days who said they'd never cuss in front of their kids mm-hmm. that you're going to use the F bomb mm-hmm. one of these days. And, and yep. she was like, no, I'm never going to do that. Psh. Uh, I think a year, I saw that lady a year or so ago <laughs> after that. She's like, yes, you, yes, you're right. You're right. And now you I say, say you're going to use F bombs to your kids. Yes. All right. Just to get your point across. It can happen. Yeah. You, uh, it, but yeah, we have people that have been on the podcast. So they, 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 it's just the way they talk. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, well, not, I, mean, I don't do a lot of crazy um, talking like that. Yeah. So, okay. So point B. But I will. No, I will with Pat because yeah, I'm still you don't I care. Know. mad. I don't and Pat. care. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd, rather you not, I'd rather you be mad than not care. <laughs> oh. Oh my God, his heart's broken. Yeah. He's like, well, yeah. Dejected. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, so the reason that we, we wanted to is because we didn't ever get a chance to really talk to you. Yeah. And even in, in the hallways, we were at work, so we we're, you know, ships passing okay. in the yeah. night. So we hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah. see you later. All right. Uh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. So what we wanted to talk to you about a little more was uh, a little bit more about you. Mm-hmm. And because you're not from Omaha originally. Not originally from Omaha. Um, well, my family's originally from East St. Louis, Illinois. So it, you know, it, you can say Illinois, yeah, or Illinois, but yeah, we 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 got here by way of mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom. When you told that story to Ravi, you got to tell that's yeah, it's man. crazy. I had no clue. What? Yeah, I, I when I was a kid, you know, I'm watching mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom as a kid, and and now you know Ron that's so that, that's old school. Yeah, all right, and 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 I'm watching this tele- television program. And there was a uh, there was a, what it was mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom. Yep. Right, they would go out and, and do all these different things with animals. Yes, and I'm watching this this uh this program as an eight year old kid, and um, one of these days my mom came to me and said, like, "Oh, we're moving to Omaha." I'm like. All oh, the places, the, pla- the places there, the places where the the lions and the tigers you and and Omaha. all, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought that was in <laughs> Omaha, so I was I was really scared to come to Omaha as an eight year old kid, man. <laughs> so not, not, yeah, man. and and oddly, the best zoo in the country. Uh, and, so the, okay, a lot man. of the critters are here, yeah. but they're yeah. not running wild. Yeah, now, there's a lot of critters on the street too. <laughs> well, that's true too. So you were like eight years old when you moved here. Eight years old. Um, wow. When me, and my my brother, my my sister, and my mom, um, we got here. Wow. Yeah, well, my, we had a, I had an aunt that was an and uncle, and those guys were, they were here already. And uh, we was getting away from a, a troubled situation in St. Louis and ended up in Omaha. What? Omaha. And then That's awesome. flash forward yeah. a couple decades, and you're <laughs> fighting. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, uh, maybe a decade and a half, and you're, uh, you're fighting on um, national television in the UFC, mm-hmm. and, and you, you have a, a doll, a, an action figure. Well, Pat, you know, you. A, lot of, a lot of people don't know that I, w- I was doing stuff. Before yeah. you know the, that pro, you know before that opportunity, and I, I I just called it another opportunity because it was it was you know, it was presented at mm-hmm. the time, and uh, I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, like just like uh, no one expects things to happen in life. Uh, like why it, we're sitting here? Yeah, why? Like, yeah, like we're, but we're, <laughs> we're, we're we sitting here, right, no right, one, right, And right. you always gotta is, expect yeah. the unexpected. Yep. Right. But uh, you know, I, I was already doing stuff for you know and media. Uh, in all forms of media already. When did How, you start was, fighting? Yeah, I was gonna say what. Man, I, when I was eight years old, <laughs> <laughs> just didn't get paid for it. Right. <laughs> when I was eight, I, I remember going to elementary school in East St. Louis, and I'm still looking for the for the guys that tried to take my candy bar. Oh, oh boy, boy, they tried. They tried to take my candy bar. It was five kids wow. that tried to take my candy bar and, and tried to whoop my ass. Yeah. 
on the playground and try to take it. And guess what? You didn't take it. Ooh, Ooh nice. Okay. You didn't take my candy bar. And, and but they got they got some good, pretty good licks here. <laughs> All yeah. five a kid. Right, right. bad. Five on one. But, wow. but 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 guys, when I got the the second week coming to Omaha, Nebraska, and, and there was five other kids that tried to whoop <laughs> me and my brother. Do why, you know why? why? Do you know why they try to they try to put to try to whoop me and my brother? Why? Because of the way we we spoke. You know, being from St. Louis, you have that oh. that all that cur and her yeah. and burr like Nelly and dur like yeah, like Nelly. <laughs> there you go, like Nelly. And 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 I really really had a deep accent back then. And and kids were were making fun of me and right. my brother because you're new and and because we we're new, right? That too. But what they what they, they what they found out. <laughs> is that we, we, you know, I didn't idea. play? You don't make I fun. didn't play. We, hey, we, <laughs> me, me and my brother we end up whooping both, all five of yeah. those guys' ass. You could back people's ass. Up. So I'm still looking for you guys too. <laughs> I think it's, okay. it's odd people that. from St. Louis. Yeah. Those kids from St. Louis looking yeah. for you. And, and it's groups people. of five. And, and, and it was it, it was groups of five. I'll never forget That's them. Crazy though. Yeah. Never. So how old was your brother? Uh, my brother is a couple of years younger than I. Okay. So, so your little brother. So you were taking care of brother, him. Little brother. Oh my god. So, yeah. so, it, so it's funny. It, it's funny. Yeah. I, a lot of lot <laughs> a lot of things happened over the years. And what you, was the what was the evolution then as you grew up? You you got into music. Yep. Um, first, I got into I got into uh, rap music. Well, mm -hmm. it, well, music when it was really, when it was really really at, early on. At the uh, yeah. But I, you know, music has always been around uh, in my family, mm -hmm. and I'm sure as you know, everyone's family mm -hmm. that's, that's been involved with music. But uh, I remember hearing um, Curtis Blow in my dad's car, um, the Breaks for the first time, and and I just I was just wondering what type of music it was because I, I was listening to all these different genres of mu music. And uh, hearing the breaks for the first time, that was that was uh yeah, that was my my introduction to rap music. What year was that? Do you think? Ah man, that was seven late late seventies. Really? 70s, yeah, I was you know, yeah. still a kid, so late seventies. I mean, that was that was like that was fresh. That was yeah, really that was fresh. That's fresh all really yeah, late, fresh, late, late yeah late late seventies. Yes, and obviously yeah. impacted yeah. you if you remember that specific moment. I, I remember that. Yeah. I remember it. I remember it like it was uh, just yesterday. Wow. So. So what what how did that even start though I got punched uh, in the head <laughs> a couple times <laughs> how did that how did that start to uh, take shape no nah, because because um I think like all the kids that that was listening to that type of music at the time we were we were looking for it and so then you had you know you had uh, uh rappers delight mm -hmm. you know that everyone knows and it still plays to this day mm -hmm. um but you had all these different um different styles of music that we were looking for. And especially when in, when you're in your youth, we wanted we was looking for like man, uh, where, where's, where's the other rap music? And then yeah. you know it, yeah. it was just we just sorted out. Yeah, and and it, and it wasn't until um, the movie Flashdance, and I don't oh. know if you guys remember Flashdance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's yeah. probably it's probably the uh, the blueprint to every dance mu music. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't remember. Movie, uh, I don't remember rapping in, in Flashdance though. No, no, no. There was no rapping in Flashdance, but what one of the one of, one of the most iconic moments in the movie Flashdance that changed the whole entire world was there was a minute um, uh, interlude by uh, these guys break dancing on the corner. Mm -hmm. oh, so okay. the main character and and her friend were walking down the street and they showed these guys break dancing, and uh, hip hop the culture itself was never uh, seen on big screen mm -hmm. until then. Really? And so, yeah, man. So that was the first well, time that the that whole was, entire world was that saw hip-hop like, culture. That's crazy. Just around the corner from uh, disco. I mean, seriously, that's, you know, you had, that was, that was, you know. Yeah, you the, had, we had disco, yeah. Right, punk. John Travolta. Yeah, you have. And all yeah. that stuff was going on. And then. But punk, but yeah. punk rock was also starting up too. So. So, so about like eight, late 80s. No, 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 no early 80s. Early 80s. Uh, late, early 80s. Late, late 70s, late early 70s 80s, punk and rap started about the same time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, punk okay. Rap. So, okay. but, but, uh, because they seriously, it had John Travolta came out in the late yeah. 70s mm -hmm. and Urban Cowboy came out right. in the early 80s. Yeah, he did that 80s. one too. So you had the the disco, then you had the country, and, and, and all this and, other right. stuff was showing up. Punk and rap music started because of, uh, of disco being that everyone hated disco. It, I don't it, know. It, it, they it hate I, I, pretty fast. I, but they were I, they were using disco records to make rap music. <laughs> so that, that, <laughs> right, was, that, was, that was weird. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, the the, the, yeah. the the exposure of hip hop came through the form of a uh, of a of a movie called Flashdance. Wow, that's incredible. I yeah, that, that wow. one moment, it, and it's you know it's documented too. So. Yeah.
Yeah. And so okay, so you started dancing too. <laughs> yeah, when, but again, when you seeking saw that? out seeking out the rap music, yeah. we you know we were we were like, man, where where's the rap music? Where's more rap music? And when we saw that, and again, being youthful, saw that man, and we just had to do it. Mm -hmm. After seeing watching that minute scene, I I went in my li my mother's living room and I started trying trying to dance. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. And wow. I think awesome. I, I think that's yeah. how everyone across uh the world seeing that movie for the first time mm -hmm. felt they, they, everyone started breakdancing after that. There was, there was a lot. It, it, you're right. That movie. Did you start breakdancing after that? There was, I, did not. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can guarantee you. I did not. I <laughs> throw down some pop and lock. No, no pop and lock. No, uh, no nothing there, like there that. There were other dance scenes though that did impress me as well. I may have tried to replicate a couple other scenes of hers, but I did not try the water in the chair scene. Oh, I can okay, promise okay, you that. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nor, but, nor did the main character, the main right? character, that wasn't even the main, the main character. Right. That exactly. was a, that was a stand in. They, that's right. On, on the movie Flash. She That's never crazy. got yeah. the, the do she should have had, as a matter of fact. And I used to yeah. know her name, too. The, oh, no, the no, woman she, that she's a, She was in a lot of uh, uh, movies. Uh, matter of fact, the last movie I remember her in was Book of Eli. The stand on? The she, stand she, the, she, no, the, yeah. the, the, uh, no, the, um, the main character oh, the main for... Character. Um, she was she was in the book of Eli. She uh, with uh, Denzel uh, Washington. That's she was a she was a main. She was a uh, the blind lady. Oh, okay. And she was on uh, um, Dancing with the Stars. Was he? She was. I think right? she was. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, but she's hey, she still looks the same though. She uh, she yeah. almost still looks the same. And and while we're we're googling and all googling, I all know, googling, right? Right? Crazy. Right, but, uh, man, oh, I forgot her name. Hold one second here. Yeah, see, that's that's what it that's what it is. But right. she. Jennifer Beals. Jennifer, Jennifer, it is Jennifer Beals. Beals. Yeah. She's in she's in a TV show right now, and yeah, I can't remember the name of it. She still looks the same. She does. Yeah. She looks exactly the same. She's yeah. She stars in a TV show right now, like an FBI type yeah. thing or something like that. And she does. She looks exactly the and same. There's three people I know that looks the same to this day: Jennifer Beal, Holly Berry, oh, Holly yeah. Berry, and and, yeah. and, uh, and Sade. You, oh, oh really? Wow. They all. If you if you Google Sade, she looks the same as she did. Wait, back then. Do you see uh, Halle Berry's Instagram? Or was it she turned 50 and she mm -hmm. finally got abs and she has a picture? She looks like it's disgusting. Who? <laughs> oh, yes. Like, yeah, it's like she's lifting up her shirt. And that, you can that, hear that's like dedication. Muscles. Dedication. Stop it, man. That, 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 you, you look, you're looking better than some of the youngsters out there. That's right? the girl that stood in. That, that's who? That's the girl that stood in. Oh. Was Jennifer Beale's body double for oh, dancing okay. scenes? Oh, okay. What, what was her name? Her name's Maureen Jahan. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she she was she's an incredible she was a, she was an incredible dancer. Oh, she's it. the one that did the dance scenes that Jennifer Beals got all the credit for, and it didn't come out until much later. Um, and they said that she was she actually part of this says in here it says that her leap through the air in the audition scene was done by a gymnast, uh huh, and the break dancing was done well, by was crazy, crazy legs. legs. There you go, crazy yep. legs. So, so yeah, people deserve to have credit. Yeah, right. so you have they all do. you have all these elements of that movie to try and make and, one and, dancer, <laughs> to right? Make one dance. right? And so, hey, I remember the behind the scenes when they 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 put they put crazy legs and some tights and a wig. Really? That's, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's see, and hilarious. And that's not even fair. Then, so you're watching this and you're thinking, I should be able to replicate that. It took how many other professionals four or five, yeah, four or combined, five. and there mm. you don't stand a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Do you know? Do they ever say who the guys were that were actually doing the break dancing? Uh, were the, they ever the Rock City credit? crew. Okay, the Rock City, that credit. was crazy. Okay. That was Crazy Lace crew. It's, okay, yeah, so so they they were one of the first oh, uh, sense, groups then. to to go across the, the world. To, to, to break dance across the world. Had no so idea. All all that and we're, and we're staying on this subject because that movie was the reason why a lot of people are doing what they're doing well, now. I think it's yeah. fascinating. I, I mean, I really yeah. th I think no, it's, it's really fascinating yeah. because you have people overseas who who care more about the culture. It seems than uh, kids here in the United States. What yeah. do you think? That's what do you because think? they never had they never had it. Right. So, what do you think is right. a, um, a a common misconception of the culture of the culture? Yeah. People pe people keep calling. Uh, calling rap music hip hop, you okay. know, it, I, I think it's it's a um, rap music is 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 a element of hip hop, the culture. Okay, and uh, and and that's all. I keep telling people stop saying it. everything's hip hop. Yeah. Everything's hip hop. The, hip hop is the culture, but there's elements in the culture like rap, dancing. You know the the music. Yeah, it, it, it's you know, people keep using hip hop as an excuse. Yeah, and and then I think that's one of the misconceptions. And you don't and you dance, but you don't. You don't rap. You don't. Yeah, I don't sing rap. I don't rap. Like I don't, <laughs> I'm not a rap. I'm not a rap. I'm not. A, I'm not a rapper. That, that, that's JT. <laughs> that's right. Right. Let me. What, I'm just what, having what you do everything. Do? Huh? What do you usually say? Uh, <sighs> a spit at what? 
Oh, uh, spit a sick 15. There you go. Spit, spit a sick, a sick 15. Yeah. Who's, you say that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if somebody needs okay. me to come in the studio. In his whitest of white voice, voices. <laughs> that, 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 that's a hilarious. Sick 15. Yeah. Spit a spit sick 15. Spit a, a sick <laughs> 15. <laughs> I, and I saw that on Empire. And I, and <laughs> oh, I, oh, okay, okay. I did, <laughs> the it only may, black. It may have been Jesse right? Smollett that said it. it. Somebody <laughs> said something about it. It was, uh, yeah, they, juicy, we're going to get juicy, somebody to come in and spit a sick 15. Juicy Smollett. Yeah, Juicy Smollett. Juicy Smollett. You probably stole it right from Juicy's mouth, didn't you? You, you, you stole yeah, it from maybe, Juicy Smollett. I maybe did. He I'm, was like one of my favorite characters until he oh, man. went bonkers. Juicy Smollett, man. <laughs> That's, you, know, you know what? <laughs> Fame got people. Oh, These people messed up. God. Spitting oh, a, a hot 16. Right? <laughs> okay, you, you, hot 16, but it's a sick 15. It's a sick 15. Yeah, sick. sick oh, sick, man. Sick. That, yeah. man. <laughs> Juicy Smollett. Oh, my gosh. Interestingly, <sighs> I just started watching um, because a new season's coming. The last season is coming of Power. Okay. You ever watch that? Oh, you know, I've watched Power maybe mm-hmm. maybe once, and and, and it's it's an intriguing uh, story. Fifty mm-hmm. Cent, yeah. yeah, and he and I love the the opening yeah, credits yeah. in particular. And when they when they when they changed <laughs> that themes when they changed that changed that theme song, yeah. people got mad. I, I, seriously, I started watching because see, I quit watching after like the third or fourth season, uh-huh. and now the sixth season is getting ready to come up, and I'm, uh-huh. and it's going to be the final season. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to get caught up on this because it's I'm, I'm watched these last two seasons that yep. I missed out on. And it opens, and I'm like, what the hell happened to my and theme the, song? Where, where's my theme song? What, See, and that's exactly what they said. They, they changed the theme song. You can't, you can't change you? it. You can't it's, change it. It's still somewhat the same, but then nah, they... It, nah, it had a... Had a so you can't change that kind of stuff. You can't, no. You can't do that. It's like McDonald's having not the arches anymore. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Which I watched Founder this weekend, as a matter of fact. You really? ever watch that movie? What's that? Founder. No, no, no. What, what's Founder? Founder is about Ray Kroc and how he became the McDonald's empire. Oh, okay. And how that happened. No, no. I never wanted a cheeseburger so bad. <laughs> man, I man. watched it. <laughs> but, but it's fascinating when you find out how he came to be who he is and how he built the empire of McDonald's restaurants. Well, it is know, pretty fast. It well, is you, pretty You know how uh, McDowell's got started? How? <laughs> From Coming McDowell. to America? <laughs> McDowell's. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, I knew yeah. that. I knew that. Stop. McDowell's. I knew that. <laughs> See, McDowell's. I knew that. They're redoing that movie, Got the Golden Arch. Yeah. They're, they're, they're they're coming McDowell's to got too. the Golden Arches. Yeah. <laughs> Golden Arch, that's right. Yeah, they're they making are. Coming to America, too. They're doing it. Yes, they're going to redo it. I can't wait. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot <laughs> I know, wait. I love that movie. Yeah, I cannot it's wait. That's so great. You, if you, I'm good you, with that. You have no pulse if you don't like Coming exactly. to America. Exactly. That's fine. Oh, you're absolutely so right. So when did you get right. in a, get in, so a, a, you, you fought, uh, you fought a little bit when okay. you were younger. Yeah, like yeah. when did you actually, I'm, I'm th- always, th- I was a good uh, street fighter. What did you, did you make a conscious decision? Did you train because you wanted to start MMA fighting okay. or yeah. did, is that what you did or did it just kind of happen? No, 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 at, um, uh, Ann Houston, a, a friend of mine, uh, because we, you know, we had a, a breakdancing crew that was that was opening up for all these different national acts. That's what I wanted to not yeah. skip over that part mm-hmm. because that was part of his transformation. Oh, okay. Because after so yeah, from there breakdance, was a, there, there was know, a lot of transformation. There, there's Pat, a lot of stuff. You're that, skipping. You you're have skipping a shit. Lot. He's Pat. Pit, <laughs> you see, pivoted. I'm already mad at you already. He's, <laughs> don't make me angry by skipping over <laughs> right? JT's question. Yeah. Okay, got don't, it. Don't get got messed it. up. You <laughs> have pivoted a lot because you think about it. You got completely involved in as far as dancing and all that stuff. Yeah. And where did that? And I, get, and I was, and I was a graffiti the, artist though too. Get us, so was okay, get us from the eighties. I know that's what we're going to talk yeah, about. So that I too. did a lot of artists. Was that in the eighties? Mm-hmm. So no, lot eighties, nineties, eight ladies, eighties and nineties. Talk 90s. about that. Yeah. yeah. So, I so, want to know more about that. Yeah. So I've always been an artist. So um, so I've been doing graffiti murals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would be that kid. Did you get in trouble a lot? Uh, no, 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 no. Matter of fact, I never. I mean, you get knock on some wood. I never got caught doing graffiti, but but um, never got I, would, caught. I would go. I would go down to abandoned buildings, and I would I would practice. Yeah. Again, and after even after flash dance, uh, there were other movies that came after. Where you know had you had B Street, you had Breaking, you had all these hip hop mm-hmm. movies that suddenly came on afterwards. And they had all these elements in it, and I was already an artist in school, so there was a guy. Uh, by the name of Cool Joe, uh, Joe Navarro, he, he had he had moved from L.A. to Omaha, and uh, he showed me how to do graffiti art, wow. and uh, we we started a, a crew, a, a graffiti crew in our school called the Scribble Crew, and that uh, you know so so it, you know after dancing, yeah, after practicing dancing in my mother's living room for almost a year, guy I got pretty 
pretty Damn good. good. I bet. Yeah, yeah, I got pretty good. And uh, there's and some there, graffiti art that's just un- amazing. Incredible. Uh, and so, so if you think that yeah. the graffiti art is is cr- incredible, the the dancing that the kids are doing is it even more so incredible. But uh, um, after that, I, I started emulating the mov- the movies, mm-hmm. and I started going out painting. I had all type of type of goofy names. I was called Phantom at one time. I was called Iceman <laughs> at one time. Did you like when you and when you were finding <laughs> places to 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 paint? Right? Uh, what's that? Did, when you were finding places to paint locations, mm-hmm. would you like scout it out and say that's a high profile one, or that's one where I won't necessarily have a, a good chance of getting caught, or was it about? You know, and uh, I, again, I would practice at, at old warehouses, mm-hmm. but when once we wanted, we, once I was getting good, I wanted people to see it, so yeah. I would find these high profile areas. And, and do so. Them. So a lot and, of people and, didn't and know it was you. A lot of people didn't know it was me. I, I put I put my name, which which I settled for with with Joe Navarro and those guys at, at our school for for Scribble, and it was and I and I shortened it up to Scrib with my with my uh with my birth date, and so for awesome. for a long time, Pat, I was that's I was cool. I was writing my name all over the city. Okay, and no one knew it was that me. is so that's awesome. I was I, I, I was on the bus writing my name. I was uh, I was um uh, I was writing my name on uh uh basketball rims. I would climb the basketball rims and I would write my name. So all over the city, Your I name would, just shows up. my name showed up. So, you know, no, my show, no. my name showed up. As a matter of fact, for for almost two years straight, my name showed up on a Metro Community Community College commercial. <laughs> Really? Yes. Oh, no kidding. Yes, it didn't have my because name right there. Every, so, every, every, so, every yeah. time, every yeah. time they would, they would, they was, they was playing hoops, and the guy threw the hoop. Yeah. And and they showed my name, name every single time. <laughs> so Metro, thank you, Metro. That's, thank you, Metro. <laughs> so okay, do you follow um, Banksy? What's that? Do you follow like Banksy, the Banksy. street artist? Now uh, he's kind of he's more polarizing, and also he shows up in the weirdest places. I don't know. No, I, I and don't I, know I, I follow that. a lot of people on Instagram that uh, that that were like okay. old school, and, and one okay. and one of my favorite uh, guys to uh, to uh, follow was uh, Lee. Lee did over and now when when graffiti art was at its all time high in New York City. Lee did over, I believe, three thousand trains. See, I was just thinking of trains. He did three. Thousand, you, yes. you can imagine a big train in New York. Three thousand. Right. He did three thousand whole, whole trains. Because whole trains. Whole like, trains. I was Jeez. this summer. That's a lot of that's a lot that's of trains. trains. We were over in Iowa, and I can't remember exactly where, but there's a, a long stretch that's yeah. wide open and um, on Highway 30, maybe. But anyway, the train tracks right along there, mm-hmm. and there was a super long train. Every car was done. Yeah. And it it's gorgeous. I mean, it was just like yeah. These are really good, and how they get in there to get to do that, right? Like at places like no, here and, in Omaha, and, and, where they have and, a lot of trains. That yeah, how here. do they? They, I mean, just break, you just break, jump, in. jump. The no, no, well, they're, they're, no, no, I don't, I don't think they have train yards like, uh, like how they did in New York, where, where they had fences around them and stuff like right. that. But, but I think a lot of those uh, trains are open that you see on I. They just find a place yeah. to do. Yeah, it. They, they just, they just wait and, and paint it at night and, and just do it. But in, and it's funny that um, they they use the concept of those uh, those. Uh, national trains because yeah. you will paint a car and guess what it'll probably end up on the west coast mm-hmm. yeah or or, yeah. or down so your south. name will show up so your name else. is yeah so yeah. your name is it that and that was actually clever for them to do that yeah your name will end up somewhere all over you take a picture yeah. your, your name will end up somewhere in iowa mm-hmm. exactly. or, and some of these crazy places where you see some of this art it's like it's super high in the air oh on God, the edge of, the of a bridges? bridge you're like how on earth yes, you have the seeds to yeah. go out there and uh, they, that. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever do stuff like that what's that Dangerous uh, stuff. Yeah, hey man. Yeah, but you know when you like kid, you know, you know, you know, you're not, you're not thinking, you're not thinking about all that stuff. So you know, I did a lot of a lot of areas where I painted, painted a lot of areas. Oh my! So, have you ever showed your kids? Uh, my, my, uh, I've, I've showed my kids how to how to actually draw graffiti. Okay, we but never I, said let's go yeah. see some. Uh, let's go to the art show. And it's funny this this uh, this summer, um, the foundation that, that I have found, um, we're gonna be doing murals this summer. Okay. Well, for a lot, a lot of community murals this summer, so it's funny that you guys mentioned it. That's awesome. That's yeah. cool. All right, now let's get to the fighting. Uh, now, Pat wants to know about. What about fighting? How did you? How did you get to be? I mean, you're you're in legitimate fights, not just okay. on a street corner. That did somebody pluck you, or well, did you say and, I want to do and that? And again, all this stems from uh, uh, the hip hop culture mm-hmm. because uh, we were uh, practicing uh, dancing. We used to do dance classes down at CW Boxing Club, and. Um, Huh, okay. There was a friend of mine uh, who was going to these fights, and this is early 2000. Uh, 
at uh, this place called Club Amnesia, which is on 84th, <laughs> which is on 84th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Rednecks right now. Yeah, I think it and, is. It's uh, the same. I, Chad, yeah. I think Chad Mason Presents uh, was the guy doing the the, uh, the fights at Club Amnesia back in the day. And uh, a friend of I mine remember, knew that kind of. I remember that, seeing those yeah. fights promoted at Club yeah. Amnesia. But uh, uh, my uh, a friend of mine, Ann Houston. Who was one of one of? Well, she was a B, B girl in our in our dance group. She would she went there one time and and, and they they knew I kind of fumbled around because I wrestled and boxed a little bit, um, and I would always play around. Mm-hmm. And she asked me to come in and watch it one day, and I went up there and and she she dared me to sign up <laughs> and get in the ring, <laughs> and of course, you know I, you know you can't dare me. Right. <laughs> Signed up. <laughs> And and got into a fight with this guy. I guess he was he was the the four, three week champion. I don't know uh, if if so they if, literally were letting Chad people off the streets. The, the, yeah, they, it's like yeah, if, so they were getting people. Yeah, they like were, it was amateur fight club. Yeah, yeah right? it was literally <laughs> almost like a fight fight club. And and if if Chad is watching my live feed, he he's probably like ah oh, he he knows all the details. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I sign up. I, I get dared by Ann. I sign up, and of course, they put the biggest. Yeah, guy yeah. in the place against against me. This guy Little was like six four. This guy was six <laughs> four, two hundred some pounds. And 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 mind <laughs> you, they could smoke in bars. Yeah. back in the day. Yeah, okay. And, and for, so I've, I've, there's a cloud of smoke. <laughs> there's a lot of people <laughs> in this ring, and it's almost literally like a fight club. Yeah, where me and this guy, and I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was you I, just bare, I was working, bare knuckled. Or? I was working construction at the time, so I just got off work. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. And, and I, I was I was burnt up. I, I I had I had the I had the farmer's tan. Yeah. But and, my, and so legs are all light and I'm I'm all dark. But anyway, <laughs> they gave us they gave they gave us somewhat MMA gloves. Chad, you know. Oh, okay. Okay. So you <laughs> did get gloves. Yeah. Okay. So and well, somewhat, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking across this the ring at this guy. This guy's six four. 200 some pounds and I'm like I'm like damn mm-hmm. okay but go out and I just remember my first fight being in that place this guy was he was huge and the first thing I do I was like ah whatever ah, I'm all, I'm a good fighter I hit this guy with a right and, and broke his nose <gasps> first thing first thing and, and did he and, throw and, in the and, towel? And, and I no, 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 nope. no, he kept no, he did blood not. Blood going everywhere. Just I just remember, off. I just remember, ah. <laughs> I just remember so much blood. Yeah, there was so much because you know, oh, somebody yeah. you know, oh, somebody yeah. you know, you know, there's a lot blood of everywhere, right? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of blood flow through the neck. Yes, my, I've never seen so much blood. And me and this guy tussling, tussling for at least two rounds, and we and by and I just remember being out of breath. Because of all the smoke, just think of oh, think man. of all the all, all the, the regulations right now but, but that you have to break the, to do that. Right. Technically, I I, <laughs> right. I end up winning because he, 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 he we couldn't continue with all the blood. So you were he covered was, in his blood. I was. I had See, his blood I mean, just, all just over me. that alone, yeah. you couldn't do that anymore. every <laughs> every violation possible. Right. right. Come in off the dirt, street, dirt, sign up. Dirt, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was yeah it was crazy, but. So you won. Was, did you win fifty bucks? Did you win a bar no, no, tab? No, Was there a prize? I, I won some money. I, I, okay. I, and, and, and I've never been an amateur. I want to thank Kugler Vision for being a supporter of our podcast. Go to their website. It's yeah. kuglervision.com. That's where you can also get yourself signed up just to, to go in for that first consultation. And that is probably the best gift you could give yourself this time of year, just to go in for the consultation and, and get a baseline and find out where you are right now and what your possibilities are if you're thinking about getting rid of your glasses or your contacts. And just your eye health isn't the only thing they're looking for. Um, seeing something in your eyes could be a tell on something else that's going on inside your body. So it's very important for your eye health. And if you want to get that correction that lets you see as good as you possibly can, you definitely need to get that consultation, but also to get that baseline and maybe they could see something else that's going on uh, inside your body as well. They are the best in the state without a doubt. And when they ask you, tell them you heard it on the Pat and JT podcast. I've always gotten paid. So from your first fight, I've you were- always gotten paid. Wow, and That's and but 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 the promotion saw mm-hmm. um, potential and what I did, and they invited me back every week, and so I came back every week and I and was winning every week. Um, um, there was a, there was a particular, um, <laughs> and as we go live feed on Facebook, there's a particular <laughs> match where uh, if the the UNO wrestlers at the time, well, I was fighting one of the UNO wrestlers. Okay. okay. And, and of course, you know, wrestlers are really, truly really tough. Um, mm-hmm. 
I was Scrappy. beating. I was beating a guy, beating a guy until he got me on the ground, uh, and this guy literally smothered me with his chest, you know, and yeah. chest and neck. And, and and this, I'll never forget this. I ended up biting the guy because you know the, the street fighter in me. I'm like, I'm biting the guy. I bit the I guy. Can't, I, can't I can't breathe. breathe. The gay, gay, I can't breathe. I can't I'm breathe. A, I was like, ah, 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 ah. You think this guy's an animal, oh, right? Oh. oh. <laughs> what did the guy? What What did the wrestler do? Oh, he, oh, he got up. Call it, I, pull it, he got up. He got up. Is that pulling but, a Tyson? But, but, is that what and, that is? But afterward, <laughs> I was like, all right, that, that, that was a look. Here, here was a look. I want my life. Get off me, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's and nobody, nobody, I'm a, uh, nobody blew I'm, the whistle. I'm, street, nobody, I, I'm, yeah. I'm a street fighter, so I, I'm, I'm thinking it. But anyway, oh my god, <laughs> yo, after after we got up, and I was like, man, okay, I got, I got beat. Chalk, chalk it up to the game. I went over to the shake to do his hand and tell tell him, "Hey, man, my bad. Mm-hmm. You know, if, you know, we're in the fight." He said some crazy. He said some crazy. He said some crazy to me, and you cannot say anything crazy to someone who's trying to humble himself and say, "Okay, my bad." <laughs> he said some crazy to me, and I was like, "What you say about my he, mama?" He disrespected what? you. I said, "What he, you seriously?" I said, "What you say about my mama?" That that, that attitude. Yeah. And next thing you know, I just I just cocked him. I just 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 we'll just finish this, this right just now. Cracked him, just cracked him. Mm. And I just remember mayhem. Mm. All the wrestlers in the ring, oh. all my people in the ring. We were, I, it, was, it was it was crazy. It was, cleared it was, the benches. It, was, awesome. it, it, it cleared the benches. But yeah, it, I got yeah. <laughs> oh my so, god! So, it, it, but 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 it still it was it still was it was exciting, and the people were into it. Yeah. It was it was crazy, and people just kept coming back every week. So yeah. so and they, and they kept inviting me back every week, even though I bit the guy and started a riot. Sorry, <laughs> because you brought the crowds, man. I mean, you brought the crowds. So that's, yeah, that's I guess. What that, I, that, but that's what it's always been around anyway. The entertainment part yeah. of it. When did you start uh, driving around to, to different places, not just? Yeah. And, and so know. after that, you know. Um, they they the, the promotion found some value in what I was doing and and we started training from there. I started training with with uh with, with small pockets of people. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything about MMA, but I knew how to box and wrestle a little bit. And I w- I was learning all these different things, uh, and, and I was I was fighting all over the the Midwest. I was fought in mm-hmm. Illinois. I was fought um a lot 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 of times in uh in Des Moines. I was mm-hmm. I was fighting in the in the mornings uh every week. Wow. So you got fifty two weeks out yeah. there out but I was there for like at least two years. So oh, geez. Yeah, so I was fighting every I was fighting every week. I, so a lot of the people that were coming up, uh Josh Neer, all those people that were coming up, we were all coming up at the same time. Mm-hmm. So you know, we all end up being in situations you know, nationally because you know the the grime was there, but um we had to find different places to train different martial arts. And that's not like how it is nowadays where people, Seriously. you know, you can go to one gym and get all the get martial arts. Yeah. We, I had to go to one gym to get boxing, one gym, gym to go get jujitsu, mm-hmm. and then the other, the other, you know, to get boxing or, or, or whomever. Yeah. Whatever martial arts they wanted us to, to, to practice, mm-hmm. we had to go to that gym. So you know, that's how old school. Yeah. <laughs> Before it all got consolidated in. and yeah. you end up with yeah, people so, realized they needed to offer all of it under one roof. Yeah. So, so, um, and, wow. and, and Pat, just in particular, there was a, um, one event that I went to at the casino. There was, uh, all these heavyweights against each other. And, uh, I end up winning partially, you know, partially, partially winning the, the event. And uh, and and the and the prize was going to, to to Hawaii to compete down in Hawaii. I was like, oh, hey, nice. Oh, I'm go- yeah, I'm going down to Hawaii. I'm like, I'm I'm there. Cool. And and uh, yeah, I got paid. Thought I was going down to Hawaii. A couple of weeks, uh, a couple of weeks later, I get a call from the promoter asking, um, and 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 the promoter is probably one of the most recognizable promoters of all. All time in MMA, Monty Cox. Mm-hmm. Okay. Same. Shouts out to Monty. Um, <laughs> he uh, he he asked me. He's like, "Why are you fighting in these smaller places?" I'm like, "And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fighting. I, I enjoy doing it. <laughs> yeah. it, was just, it was a hobby to me." And uh, he said, "Uh, I got something for you." And I was like, "What is it?" Um, the the this, this the UFC needs a a replacement. I was like. 
Okay. Mm. I, I never really followed the UFC because I was I was too busy fighting right. in the smaller play, and I was already doing my own thing, so I wasn't following those guys. And uh, he said it's uh, some guy named Keith Jardine. And I was like, okay. Mm. I'm not, I didn't know who it was, I and I, did, I didn't name. care. Yeah. All, right. I cared about, all I cared about at the time was how much a guy weighed. Because I was fighting guys twice my size. Yeah, you're, you're fighting six I, was fighting, four, I was fighting all these guys twice my size coming up. So I asked him, I was like, the most important question I got for you, man, is how much you weigh. Yeah. And he said, uh, we we're fighting at 205. I was like, sign me up. So I didn't even know who the guy was. UFC, all right, cool. Right. All right, but, you know, I was, you know, I, and, and so. So going into that fight, you had no idea how big of a deal it was. Nah, your first fight in the UFC to, yeah. was Keith No, Journey. no idea how big the, the situation was. It was right. pay-per-view. Uh, and they weren't gonna let me fight because uh, they they didn't think I had enough enough experience. Oh really? So they yeah, were, they, they, they had were no idea for you. They, they were had no idea that, that, that I hey, yeah, because right? there was no there was no YouTube back then. Yeah. there was nobody <laughs> going viral back then. Right. And if you did if you did see anything, it was on a, B, a VHS tape, mm -hmm. right, from somebody taping it. So they didn't have they had no information on me. Right. That's so that's yeah. crazy. So so, so they was like, nah, we can't let this yeah. dude t fight Keith because I guess Keith was you know higher up. Yeah. And uh, I bet uh, Keith and, wishes and they didn't let you fight. Yeah, and, my, and Monty was like, <laughs> he was like, nah, he he fought for me to fight, um, in the UFC, at the time because they, they didn't want me to fight this guy because they thought I was gonna get killed. Mm -hmm. And so we, you know, we put a put a team of people together, and because uh, we we had to put a team together. Um, matter of fact, it was uh, the first first one of the first guys I got was my uncle Curly Alexander. I know Curly worked out people, and he was mm -hmm. one. He's one of the hardest. He, 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 the way he trains people is, is, you know, is crazy. And um, uh, Mick Doyle was another guy I got. Mm -hmm. I, I, I called because Mick, Mick was a, he was he was prominent in the scene when it was first coming up. Um, there was a the, the, I, I got I remember my, I throwing got, tires with you at Doyle's yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, that was that was torture. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> I was, old, old school. I was sore for ten days. <laughs> oh my god! And that damn hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I it was I had to get, I had to get a team together, and that was a team we got together. And I'm a, I'm a, and it's and it's funny because I went to the store, all the sponsors that I got, I went to a a, a, a t shirt shop, and I and I printed. In black, black, I had a white T-shirt. In black, I printed. I printed all the names of my sponsor. That's how. That's how ghetto. <laughs> that's how ghetto it was. That's how ghetto it was. I didn't have a. Square, I didn't have a yeah, right? Yeah. You didn't there was have nobody. It. Yeah, we just say hey, we just we just put every. I just, we just we just put everybody on this white shirt, and, and I had black print. Yeah, and, and it turned out to be uh, a phenomenal idea because when lights hit you when you, when you came down the aisle. It saw everything. Yeah. yeah, it was just a white shirt with it, just nothing but black letters of all the talk sponsors. about eye catching because and on top of it, and just like yeah, it, so, it's so, it's so different all from the sponsors else. saw themselves. Yeah, that's cool. So that was cool. So, but but again, we you know it's, it's funny. So many in so many situations in your life, you go into something that you have no experience on, yeah. you have no history with, and you kill it. You knock it out of the park because you have no expectations of right. what you're supposed so, to so be So like doing. what you guys are doing with the podcast. Right. Yeah, 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 We're right. figuring no, it out. Right. Just We're figuring it out. Figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> knock it out of the park. Yeah. <laughs> Trying. But, yeah, but but once we got but once we got there and you know I got presented the the uh the 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 whole situation, got the coaching staff together and uh our first week in Vegas cuz you know they, they sent us all down to Vegas. Um they were already like Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Who's in the Who's in Nebraska? Whatever. Blah blah blah. They, they were already on us. Yeah. And, and and not and not even thinking that we had a chance. Right. At all. Underestimated. But mm. the whole time, <laughs> the whole time I'm down there, I'm messing with Keith, smiling in his face, <laughs> shaking his hand. Hey, buddy. You know, he, he's like, and he's really, yeah, he's really he's not. Like, what are you doing? He's not knowing yeah. how to take this. Yeah. Like, that's I'm not like, how I'm you're not, supposed to act. I'm not, yeah, I'm not taking it. I'm like, ah, whatever. Yeah, but I remember, I remember the night um, talking to Dana White. Mm-hmm. I told him, uh, "Look, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna whoop your boy's ass, and you mm -hmm. you watch." And he looked at me, and was like, "Ah, <laughs> whatever," uh, and walked yeah. away. Shh, boy, you did. Yeah. <laughs> you broke his jaw, didn't you? I don't know. I don't know what we did. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember that after that. Did, but Dana, did but, Dana come back around? Oh no, we got a, he, like, he, hey. he brought no. He brought in the check. Yeah, he brought in a bonus. Yeah. So because but we didn't get knocked out. Uh, what led up to that that thing. Uh, with me having the Nebraska hat on, is that we were behind the uh, curtain, and um, 
we were looking at the captions of people talking. You know how you talk before the fight? Mm -hmm. And they show Keith talking and saying, oh, I don't know why I'm fighting this guy. He's a bum. Blah, blah, blah. I should be fighting a contender. And we were, and we were looking like, man, mm -hmm. the, he's, saying he's, he's saying he's on national mm -hmm. TV. Fire you up. And mm -hmm. I was like, what? And so I was like, hold up. I say, coach, grab grab that. Get the, get, give me the hat. Because I was going to wear the hat. Win or lose, I was going to wear the hat. Let everybody know where we was from anyway. Mm -hmm. I was going to initially walk out with the Nebraska hat. And so when we saw the caption of him saying and talking all that crazy stuff, mm -hmm. I said, man, I put the hat on. I said, coach, give me the hat. Put the hat on. And um, I looked at the cameraman. I said, and, I got, and, I, and I was dead serious, JT. I said, when, this, when you turn that light on and before we walk down that aisle, you point that camera at this hat. I said, if you don't point this camera <laughs> at this hat, <laughs> I'm going to be, I, I, no, 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 I'm gonna, I, I, no, I'm, I, was, I know, I just said, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> and so he was like, okay. So yeah. as soon as they announced us, he turned that, you know how they turn on mm -hmm. the turn on mm -hmm. the lights in the camera? Yeah. And the first thing you saw was that. I remember that. And, and we just walked, we walked down the aisle with, with, with my makeshift shirt, <laughs> <laughs> my ghetto, my ghetto sponsored shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> that I love, I, I love oh, that. Man. Everybody underestimated. Everybody's thinking, ah. Oh, uh, but, but we, but we, walked down, but we, but we walked yeah. down the aisle and got there, and, and it was, and was, it was crazy because I fought, I fought all over the place. Mm -hmm. So me fighting in front of all these people, I fought Didn't in front matter. of small, small crowds, mm -hmm. big crowds, medium crowds. I've already fought, and they didn't know this, so that's why they thought I was going to get killed. Right. Because yeah. they, they thought I was going to be overwhelmed. I'm, and I was like, talk about that feeling when you you're like, standing whatever. over, you're standing over Jardine. You knock, you knocked him. He's done. You know he's done. You're standing but, over. Him, you're screaming. That had to be one of the best feelings of your life. Because no, but, but when I went, when the, when the fight started though. And I wasn't even nervous. I'm like, ah, whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Just loose. I didn't, and I, I wasn't loose because my, 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 my coach, Mick said I was too stiff. Oh, really? <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said I was too stiff. <laughs> wow. Watching it, I'm like, oh, I am kind of stiff, but I, I had my hands, I was ready to go. And when, when, when he, when he, he, bre he brushed me, I think that woke me up. Cause I was, I, I was just, I'll be, I was just waiting. And when he, yeah. walked, when he, when he kind of brushed me and hit me, I just went. I just lost it. I just lost it. Wow! And that's when you know. That's yeah. when. Do you? Do you, do you I, don't, I don't. I, I don't. I don't. Do I have remember a memory? parts of it. I remember yeah, I parts of it, but I just blanked out. Yeah. And just, I remember. I remember. I remember standing over. I think you brought that. Up. Yeah. I remember standing over, and you don't. You don't. I don't know if I can repeat that on your podcast. <laughs> oh, I we go right ahead. Yeah. It's just no, remember they're live. Yeah, no, it don't matter. It don't matter whether they're live or not. No, nope, yeah. that's your Facebook, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, go uh, ahead. I've what never I've I've never told I have told this maybe maybe two times. Mm -hmm. Since I, and cause because even even the last interview with uh Robbie. Robbie. Robbie, yeah. He didn't ask. But but when when he was sitting there laying there, I told him to I said I said, get up, my <laughs> get the up. I said, I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw that. I think I read hey, your man, lips. I'm telling you, you, hey, I'm yeah. telling you, if you, if you go back and, and you, you, oh my you, God. Can, you can see my body. I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm not done. Because <laughs> nobody, because everybody yeah. thought you were going to get killed. You, yeah. you yeah. killed him basically. Yeah. And just to know that you're like In short order. Yeah. I mean, you just took care of it. That had to be such, that had to be such, such right, a great but, feeling. But it, you know, Proving but, everybody wrong. But, the, but it yeah. wasn't even, the, it wasn't even that because we already knew, we already knew what we was going to do. You knew what was we, going on. We knew what we was going to do. But the, just the fact that they, uh, they were talking crazy about us. Yeah. The whole weekend, and it was like, who are these people from Nebraska? Yeah. They were trashing Nebraska. They were, they were, they were, they were trashing, trashing, they, was trashing hey, they was trashing us. And yeah. then, uh, Matt, I come to find out, uh, when I, when, you know, when I, when I said that, when the Nebraska is in the building thing, yeah, yeah. you know, that was, that was me getting hyped up. There was, a uh, students from Kearney, Nebraska uh -huh. at the fights. It was like maybe 20, uh, 25 students oh, yeah? Yeah. from Kearney, Nebraska. Oh my God. They were, they were, they were hyped up for it. Yeah. That's, so, that's cool. So it, it was, uh, and again, so you had the crowd with you. So just, just imagine this, if we had YouTube yeah. oh. and we had Good Twitter and we had all crazy. those, and we had all those different things yeah. during that time period. Cause we, we had Yahoo. We had, we, we didn't My have, space. we didn't have YouTube. We had, we had MySpace. Yeah. But it, it wasn't, it wasn't as big as if it, if, if no. it would have happened nowadays. Oh, I know. With all, with all social media. Yeah. So what, on the other side of that, what happens when you, how, what goes through your mind when you get beat? 
Like, no, no, oh, this, no, like, that's, that, that's almost the that's almost the worst feeling in the world, you know. Yeah. But but you know, you 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 expect it. Like you feel like you're letting yourself down, your fans down, yeah, because because you know you know because even with the UFC thing, all the people were not that I that I fought and maybe lost to mm -hmm. uh, weren't physically better than me. Mm -hmm. They were. They matter, matter of fact, I was probably in better shape than most people that were in the ring with. But here's where the mental breakdown comes when uh when it was there was there was almost a conscious effort for that we you know, we we was trying to get all this information all at once with MMA. Um, you, you got to learn this, you got to learn that, you got to learn this, you got to learn that. And there was so much information being, you know, put in my head at the mm -hmm. time um, to try to learn to do all these different things mm -hmm. that you were thinking too much when you're in the ring. Oh, got it. You know? Yeah, not yeah, focused. Yeah, 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 so you're thinking too much. It's like it, it, you, you need to keep things simple. And, uh, and I think uh, Coach Alexander said it best. He said, you, was, you could always fight, all right? You you already you you already you already know how to fight. You just got to defend the takedown. So I was already a good fighter with, with my instincts. Everything was already there, always there. But when 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 you got to learn try to learn all this stuff all at once, and it's not naturally flowing. Mm -hmm. It's like it's even like dancing. You know, you, it has to naturally flow. And even like fighting, with, with fighting, you it has to naturally flow. You have to learn how to box, defend the takedown, wrestle, kick. You had to learn how to do all that stuff all in unison. Well, you consider you didn't come up fighting. Yeah, I, did, I, you know I, came, up, I, mean? I came up fighting, but I was there. Not I, like I, that. I, yeah, you I, were no, no, training. I had, my, my instincts. You know. My instincts were up here. You were gut instincts. Yeah, my gut. My gut. Yeah. My instincts were up here mm -hmm. as yeah. far as you know, not being fearless. This, but you know, when it's almost like training a pit bull. Yeah. You know, yeah, well, you, like, you, you train up, yeah, you train a pit bull. Pit bulls are, rrr, rrr, but one, but once you start training him, you know, oh, nah, he's he's okay. That pit bull's <laughs> okay now. You, you can you you can take him around your kids. Yeah, but yeah, but but yeah, it it, yeah. it happens, and you know, just taking all the information. And what I would tell tell people now is just make sure that if you're training and doing MMA, and you you're fighting, it has to be natural. Okay. It has to be natural. Okay. Just like when you guys doing it takes this time. Mm -hmm. Takes time I mean, to, to yeah. learn the podcast. Anything, it's like it, anything. Yeah, yeah, radio. Itself, Let it happen naturally, uh, and and something we, like this, yeah. you guys doing in your podcast. Mm -hmm. This this is natural. This is a natural thing for you. Guys. We actually we were talking just mm -hmm. this morning about um, what else we would have done, and it's, we don't have any other skill sets. We have nothing. <laughs> but, have but, but this is not. But but you guys work so well together that this naturally it's happens just, for you. You yeah. know. Yeah. So and so that's and that's that's, that's, that's how you, that's how I approach anything. You, it yep. has an, it has to naturally happen. Right. So. Good deal. Well, now you've got you've the Houston Alexander Foundation. Yeah. Also, um, now um, what's what's happening right now is that uh, every, even before I was fighting, there was a uh, and, and I was working with uh with NR, NRG Media, and there was um uh, it was a different radio group mm -hmm. at the time. Wade was Wade Radio at the time. Yeah. Uh, and we came in, I came into radio, um, with uh with Busy B and mm -hmm. DJ Rip. Mm -hmm. They, they, the, uh, at the time, Weight Radio was looking for a radio station to, uh, to help counter a lot of the uh, other radio stations that were that were in town. So they came up with Hot 1077, mm -hmm. and so I was already doing promotions, and 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 people know I was doing hip hop in the streets. So mm -hmm. they were brought on, and they brought me on, uh, to uh, to help promote and to help with the with the the the, the new launch, and so. They were asking how how can we get up, how can we get in the streets more mm -hmm. and how can we get more visible in you know in in the community. I already had this idea already of uh, doing uh, an event to where we're we're going into the schools teaching the kids hip hop culture because the kids are, are getting so much negative imagery on television and on on and the music itself. Yeah, they know nothing about the culture the culture and the different elements. Mm -hmm. And so I had this title. Culture shock school tour, where we go into schools and we shock them. Right. You know, oh, we're gonna shock the kids, and and that's what we would do. We we, we would go in and take a real live DJ, uh, break dancers, rappers, be, people who beatbox, and, and and we would we would present this to kids and, and tell the and, story and tell the story. That was the I've, yeah. I've seen videos of of yeah some the, the music stuff that you and because you, know, you know the culture is um, about music, dance, and art. Yeah, exactly. How many? When when did you first start that? Would you we say? started doing that in '03. Yeah. So right wow. when, uh, right when, when, yeah. when, right when it started, Hot 177, yeah. uh, which is now Power 1069 now, mm -hmm. uh, when it first started, 
you know, we, we, that's what, that's, and it was rough. <laughs> it was rough <laughs> because, you know, for, you know, uh, shouts out to Mr. Crumley at, at Skinner, Skinner Elementary. He's, he, he was one of the first schools that let us do it. And, uh, and it was, uh, was it a hard you know, sell to get in there? It wasn't, it wasn't a hard sell, but, uh, they didn't know what to expect. Tom, you uh, didn't Thomas like, Harvey, you know? Tar- Thomas Harvey, who was a, like an assistant superintendent because we had to get his blessing first to go into the schools, uh, rest in peace to him. Mm-hmm. He was my he was my principal from uh, North High, but he he allowed us to to go into the schools and do that, and then we've been doing it ever since. That's and, what you need and is formatting that, yeah. formatting it how it is now. You know it's uh it's it was rough, but now you we found a format to where yeah. it's it, it, it's it, the kids are enjoying it. Uh, they we have them come up and be box or I've seen some of the teachers doing they it. Have some of the yeah. te- <laughs> I've never seen some grown ass teachers <laughs> run from a, from be boxing. <laughs> From break dancing, right? I've never seen and and and, and our whole <laughs> <laughs> spill on the school tour is for everyone to try. Yeah. And when you got teachers up there who uh, who who try, I think it, it just I gives, love when you see the it teachers. It gives the that. other yeah. it gives the kids incentive to, to want to try too. Because yeah. if they see them trying, then mm-hmm. then you then you have you, you have something to to, yeah. to 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 tell the kids, hey, yeah. I tried. Exactly. You can try it too. Yeah. You don't have to be embarrassed. Yep. Let's get but, up here but, and give it know, a shot. Yeah. But we've been I've been we've been doing a school tour. Do you know how many schools you've been to? Uh, how, or man. how many performances you've probably done? We've probably done over two hundred schools. Presentations. Jeez. That's a lot. We, we've done, yeah. a, and uh, we got wow. a, we got a lot of we got, we got yeah. a, even even today we got a lot of schools that we, that that sign up. Um, um, Ashland Park just so uh, yeah. we just signed up. They got over they got like a thousand kids. So you have a thousand kids in a, in a gym. That's cool. Do you ever go outside we, of Omaha? Oh, uh, we, we've been in Iowa. We've been in Lincoln. You know, but you know that, the, and the reason why I, I called it the school tour is because eventually we want to go to every uh, major city mm-hmm. in, in uh, across the country and do it at at a, at a school. Thank you, sure. And, and, and teach kids because again, yeah. the yeah. kids get so much negative imagery nowadays. Media um, doesn't help because they, they focus yeah. on uh, you know, it, it, um, but it's not even it's not no. even controversy. If you, if you, they love controversy and stuff like yeah. that. So you know, yeah. Yeah, uh, but but we we want to go in and teach the kids about. The positive aspects of the hip hop culture. Exactly. No, I think I think that's great. You ever thought about having like a second squad? Uh, so, well, you mean <laughs> you, got, you got we got one group that goes to one one. You know, maybe you have to go you know on, what? on hey, separate tours. Hey, you, hey, you have the, the Eastern tour and you have the Western I don't know, tour. I don't know, cause, well, they can't host it like me though. That's probably true. Yeah, see, see, no but you're, there, there's, there's a, you're there's the a glue. Certain, yeah, there's a certain way I hosted that the kids <laughs> that 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 the kids like, and mm-hmm. that, I don't know. That'd be tough. It'd be hard to replicate be, that. Be, I mean, pro- only person that would probably do something like that. Uh, that could do something like that would probably be a uh, uh, dark beatbox. Okay, so, that's, so, that's funny. He, 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 yeah, yeah, he, he kind of knows your knows your style. You know, you know, he knows the style, but yeah, yeah but, in the routine. But I don't know. I, I <laughs> to find another host. <laughs> yeah, it might be hard. It'd be hard to replicate. But did, could you? Could you? Doc even, Doc, Doc, Doc beatbox nose is too big though. When you first started this in two thousand three, <laughs> yeah, did you ever imagine it would still be going almost twenty years later? Yeah, well, yeah, you're fifteen yeah, over fifteen because, years because uh, because yeah because uh, that's what I envisioned. I envisioned the, the the for these kids because. It's, Generations right. have changed over what we got like two generations in yeah. since since probably yeah. that, and uh, that was my vision for the for the whole whole thing is it to to make sure we're te- yeah. still teaching these kids. Okay. I had a, I had a football player. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, that's right. I had a football player come up to me. The guy's like six seven, six eight, and uh, he told me, "Hey man, I saw you guys a school tour uh, at Lewis and Clark." Uh, middle school, mm-hmm. uh, several years ago, I was like, "Oh, okay." He said, uh, hey, "I was one of the kids out there. I was one of the kids out there who saw it." I was like, "Okay." He said, "And and after that, he said, I really, really looked up to you." I was like, "Oh, really?" Right now at six sec, six seven, <laughs> six eight, I'm looking up at you. Yeah, right? yeah. I said, "I said, what are you, what are you doing right now?" He said, "I'm, oh, I'm playing for the Philadelphia Eagles." Oh, jeez. I was like, "Oh, really?" It's like what. <laughs> He's playing for the for the Philadelphia Eagles. So we had a guy, you know, who, nice. who uh, yeah, cool. who, awesome. yeah, because you're probably looking little? at those kids that were, you were talking to. You're generally junior high, yeah, grade school. Yeah, yeah. So you have so, elementary, middle school, high school. So even if you're high school, say 15, 16 years old, and you're fifteen years later, so you got some thirty year olds. Yeah, so you are out they're, there. They're, that so, we're the first generation, man. Uh, the thing, yeah. Thanks for making me feel yeah, old. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> thanks for making me feel old. I appreciate it. <laughs> but, so, so, hey, so it's, it's crazy. I'm coming. I'm coming up to this dude's belly button, 
<laughs> looking yeah. up to this dude, and he's a Philadelphia Eagle. He's looking up to you. Right, but but it was yeah. it, that was cool, that and was so neat. that just showed that what we were teaching, what we have been teaching, has been working Stuck. with the kids. Yeah. Okay, so talk about your foundation. What other things do you try to do with your foundation? That the, with with that being the basis of the foundation, mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of things that I that I saw in the community that that we might need, mm -hmm. uh, that might help. Like I would go to a gym, or go into the gym, and I would see people uh, not knowing what to do. So you got a lot of people who are just just fumbling around from uh, from equipment to equipment. I know what they should be doing, and so we 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 uh, got started a program where we teach either elders or younger people uh, how to how to work out. Mm -hmm. So you know, all all they would have because they're intimidated is, when you walk into a gym. Nobody yeah, wants a lot to, of people get intimidated. You, you know, but because yeah. no, again, no one knows how to use the equipment, mm -hmm. or or no one's ever been yeah. showed how to use the equipment. So, and I will say that sometimes in some of the gyms, mm -hmm. you can be real jerks. When you, when you ask him for help because they're kind of condescending. <laughs> I just want to say. Well, well, so, well, most of the gyms I've been to has been helpful. Well, nobody's going to be a jerk to you. But, <laughs> right. But, 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 it's been, but it's been it's been to where. I can't imagine him walking in somewhere and somebody's giving him. Can you imagine right. him giving him side eyes? Hey, no. I, I, hey, but you know, it'd be it'd be funny if anyone gave me the side eye or or did anything crazy <laughs> to me. You know, the first thing I do when when people are rude or anything like, I walk away. Yeah. So, you know, if you're being rude or, or you, you're giving people the side eye and doing anything crazy like that, you're going to be doing it by yourself because I'm, I'm not going to be staying. I'm not going to waste your there. time. Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to waste my time. Yeah. And, 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 and the worst thing you can do to a person is not communicate to them. This is true, right, Pat? Oh, like, right. Yeah, it's the right, Pat. <laughs> it, isn't that right, Pat? When Bring it all the way when back, you're, to, when the you're, back when you're, to the top of the show. When you're, when you're texting a person, you're sending them an email, <laughs> you're calling, hey, oh, hey, Pat. Get a hold of me uh, when you can, yeah, man. You know, I, know, I, know, I know you're busy with Parkville Media. <laughs> oh, okay. Get a hold of me, buddy. Okay. And then Almost a year later. That is, I'm, I'm, I'm generally a pretty perfect person. Mm. That's my one flaw <laughs> yeah. is it, that I, I have a hard, true. I even have a hard time when I, I'll it's get true. a text, and I'll then, read a text. And then when I walk in here, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it shows me his hat. Oh, okay? yeah. It the, shows me a hat picture. picture. Shows me a hat. Oh, yeah, the hat picture. Yeah, he shows me a hat picture. Picture of uh, of a little baby, a little baby with a big least. with a big penis. Oh my god! <laughs> so I'm assuming that's the one thing we have in common. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and on that note, and on that note, <laughs> we're gonna say thank you <laughs> for coming in, and thank you for being on our oh, podcast. Yeah, we no, appreciate no, no, it. No, I've, I've been trying to get. I've been trying to get. I've been yeah. trying to get up here for a while. Anytime you're welcome. Anytime, just text us and say yeah. I'm on my way. You're anytime gonna be you so. Uh, this is this is. Yeah, I'm going do to you, actually, JT, do you hear what Pat is saying? Text me at a time. Text me. Come up here. Okay. Yeah, I said us. <laughs> CC. CC. Yeah. We're over here. CC. <laughs> I'm working on it. But this uh, uh, over this long Thanksgiving weekend, what do you? What are your plans? Oh man, you know I know I'm I'm be probably with friends and family, mm -hmm. but but I'm I'm not. I, people don't want to hear my. My spill on, on fake holidays. <laughs> no, I'm not a big. I'm not a big fake, ho fake holiday yeah. guy. Yeah, do you, do you I guess like, the older I guess the older I get, yeah. the more the more woke I get. Yeah. <laughs> and so you know, yeah, I think I think the the uh, the concept of being around your 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 family mm -hmm. should be every time, right? Sure. Every day. And but but you know, a lot of people a are lot complaining. of people it's twice a year. But yeah, a lot of people Christmas complain about seeing their people on Thanksgiving and stuff like that. But yeah, I I don't, don't want to get into that. <laughs> I agree <laughs> with you. Well, the have a happy holidays. Thanksgiving because this is going to be playing over Thanksgiving yeah. weekend. Oh, cool, cool. So you have a have wonderful happy Happy Family Day. Yes. So right. all the people. <laughs> you want to hear but, this and, again? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, so I appreciate it. But if, if we can get everybody to uh, to go visit the website houstonalexander.org, um, and, and we you know and if, and if I can do say this, mm -hmm. uh, every week uh, that we go. We give away a bike to a young lady and a young man, uh, who who's done a, a, an exceptional job in school, or have have um, declined in school, but they brought themselves up. Mm -hmm. So you know, we, every every school tour oh, we cool. do, I didn't know you did we that. give away we give away a bike. That's cool. every school tour. So you know, if we can get your people to go to the website and uh, and happen to want to donate, yes, and and, and and do that, that'd be great too. But but it all goes towards buying bikes and uh, all that stuff for the kids. So that's awesome. Visit HoustonAlexander.org if you can. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, if not, uh, Pat's Pat's not going to get in touch with you. Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm oh, doing better. Oh, I'm doing really? Better. I'm doing better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to play our music. Okay, here we yeah, go. Right, Here's right, our right, music. Right. Ready? There it is. Oh, theme song. Theme song. See, theme song. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Um, you can text <laughs> us. Um, when you're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, right? Yeah, right. on okay. my ad. Just, 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 Google, just Google me. Okay. Just Google really? me. Really? Seriously. Uh, Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.